Hello Cancer, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the first half of May 2019 Love and Romance Reading. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you who have been with me from the very beginning. April 7th will be my third year on this YouTube channel and I am just so grateful for each and every one of you, for those of you who come to me for month to month readings, for those of you who comment and help for me to know for sure that these messages are resonating for you. I'm going to be starting out with the Witch's Tarot deck by Ellen Dugan. But first, I'm going to explain the energies of the Cancer that I am feeling during this general reading, okay? So this is a particular Cancer, group of Cancers, whoever uh, this may resonate with. If it resonates, great. If not, just remember, I am available for personal readings at my email address, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. My price list will be in the box below, and I am still offering the winter special. Uh, spring special which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try all right so this cancer is thinking about <clears throat> rolling the dice and taking a risk when it comes to another person the person they're thinking of may be a well-dressed masculine gentleman energy who is financially abundant and or secure they are hoping to either connect with this person or for this person to connect with them for some cancers, this person may have connected with them, come towards them quickly and or unexpectedly, and has left this cancer a little bit confused. Now, Spirit is trying to say that this cancer has the ability to get to the truth of why they are confused, to really think about the path ahead and what it is they'd like to see come manifest. When there are energies of confusion, Spirit is saying, do not take any action. Take some time to uh, clarify that the path ahead is stable and secure. Because by the second week of May 2019, this cancer may come to the realization that someone around them is uh, carrying the energies of lies and deceit. So by mid-May 2019, this cancer is being guided to devote themselves to enjoying the playful connection for what it is. But when it comes to this passionate, I feel like a passionate masculine energy, again, um, this person will continue to leave you, this cancer uh, in and with the energies of confusion by mid-May 2019. So again, when we're confused, uh, don't take any or make any drastic decisions. So... In the first week of May 2019, we have a Cancer energy who is uh, carrying energies of great optimism when it comes to their love life. And again, Spirit is saying, if you are confused, research the situation a little deeper. It is important to think of someone who may feel like a true love as a friend in the beginning. Maybe this is someone that you have been friends with for a period of time or you were friends with in the past. Either way, spirit is warning of codependency, not allowing yourself to become addicted to a person, place, circumstance, situation, environment, or a certain way of thinking. Spirit is warning in the first week, week and a half of May 2019, they're warning this cancer energy to not give in to this passionate desire to hold back uh, and put someone, again, kind of in the friend zone so you can get to know them a little bit more. Because day to day, uh, it may, you know, it is important to wait for more clarity, especially if this is uh, either someone from your past or uh, someone who feels like a past life connection. Instead, it is important in the first couple weeks of May 2019 to work on your career and finances cancer and to come to the realization of what it is you may or may not want to accept. Make sure you are secure and stable in your own personal journey and not needing another person or relying on another person to provide you with uh, any financial stability. Just for this cancer energy in the first half of May 2019. Uh, by the third week of May 2019, uh, this cancer is going to want to devote themselves to a playful connection with this person. Uh, maybe even is thinking about 
raising that commitment to a higher level or getting married or engaged someday with this person. But spiritual advice, again, is saying pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to any form of confusion. Wait something out for a period of time. There may be someone who is waiting to reunite with someone that they were separated from in the past. But again, spirit is saying wait and observe. Don't give in to that passionate connection. Free yourself from anyone who may come off as arrogant. All right, so I just shuffled the Witch's Tarot deck by Ellen Dugan, and I'm doing a circle spread. And in the center of the circle spread, we have the Three of Pentacles. So this is spirit trying to tell the cap, uh, cancer energy that now is a time to really focus on your hobbies, gifts, talents, skier, skills, creativity, and or career and financial direction as you sit and observe optimistically a connection with another. There may be a cancer who is in a three-party situation and is thinking about a friend or a connection of sorts as a true love. They may be thinking of someone related to their business or finances who is in a leadership position. Uh, in their thoughts position in the first week, week and a half of May 2019, this cancer has the high priest energy. So the high priest is saying, congratulations, you've made it down a long and difficult path. Now you can select one of these keys to step into a new direction. I believe they're talking about your finances and they are still saying, uh, recognize what you have learned about this person so far. Don't give in to the desire for a passionate connection until you have learned more. Now, by the first week and a half or two weeks of May 2019, this cancer is really, really thinking that, hey, we connect on a really deep level. Remember, a soulmate connection is someone who is meant to teach us to advance ourselves in our own personal journey. That's why we are so drawn to each other. This soulmate may have been uh, a father, brother, sister, mother in a previous lifetime. Therefore, when we connect with them, we are guided to learn more about ourselves. So this cancer is thinking strongly about someone who may be large and in charge, a manager, a business owner, and feeling like or are hoping that this is their soulmate or a true love, whatever you want to call it. Um, but Spirit's saying, don't allow yourself to become codependent on another at this time. Uh, in your creative aspects position, it is about working on your career and finances, looking at how far you have come in that area of your life, and planning the path ahead for greater fulfillment. What is it you want to work on? What is it that makes you happy when it comes to creativity, finances, and or career? There may be something uh, by the second week of May 2019 that uh, this cancer is having a hard time accepting when it comes to another. Again, Spirit saying day to day, it is a time to just wait and observe. By mid-May 2019, someone may come quickly towards this cancer or cancers wanting to go quickly towards another and speak their truth. Again, if somebody comes towards you and they're sharp with their words or you're wanting to get clear about something, make sure you speak in um, a kind and just manner. It may be important, cancer, to just really cut to the truth and say, do you want to eventually come into partnership, get engaged, have a future together, because I do feel like this cancer is really wanting to eventually get married. But again, Spirit's saying, pay attention to the red flags. Free yourself from anyone who is carrying the energies of arrogance. So in your emotional aspects position of the circle spread, we have the Nine of Pentacles, a very financially independent and secure energy. So... Even though there may be a single, financially abundant and secure person that this cancer wants to come into commitment or partnership with, they are being guided with the Nine of Pentacles to focus on their own financial independence and security in the first half of 
May 2019. Yes, because subconsciously somebody here is not appreciating maybe a true love they already have in their life. Again, they may be thinking of a friend or a co-worker or somebody who by which they want to, it, like it feels like a strong connection, therefore they're wanting to uh, become one with this person. Again, I'm feeling like they're not appreciating the one they're with. If this is a three-party connection and spirit saying, um, let go of any desires to become addicted to a circumstance, person, place, situation, or a certain way of thinking in the first half of May 2019. Day to day, there could be another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio opening up to this Cancer, or somebody coming playfully towards this Cancer, or Cancer wanting to go playfully towards another one who may be tied to their past. But Spirit's saying, be optimistic as you are patiently waiting to accept something that you don't want to accept. Instead, focus on your financial abundance and security and know that Spirit's giving you the strength to free yourself from a situation that could indeed cause you heartache. And this would come from someone who is very arrogant, maybe even sharp with their words at times, or somebody you're trying to force an issue with. Because at some point, uh, if you can walk away from an arrogant energy that keeps leaving you confused, spirits saying that person will eventually recognize that karma's a bitch and they got theirs because they didn't get what they wanted from this cancer when they were wanting to manipulate a situation, when they were trying to create ulterior uh, motives with this cancer. Yes, for some cancers, it may be someone who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This is a karmic test. Uh, the test is about the Cancer maintaining a clear mindset when it comes to financial abundance and security because that is the area by which this Cancer could eventually uh, celebrate. Yeah, somebody may come passionately towards the Cancer or the Cancer may want to do that or go in the direction of another. But someone may either be married, and that's why there are energies of lies and deceit, or spirit is saying um, it's time to cut away from a situation that eventually leaves you confused. So by mid-May 2019, this cancer is being guided with the major arcana, the hanged man, to stop and look at things from every perspective, to ground yourself and make a clear decision, especially regarding finances first before hop skipping and jumping into a direction whereby you could end up playing the fool. Listen to your intuition. If something makes you, you know, when we connect with somebody, if it's really good, we will feel joyful and happy and fulfilled. But if after communicating or connecting with another person and we feel down, sad, confused, worried, fearful, and all that stuff, that's your intuition trying to tell you that even though you're receiving a lot of attention and recognition, now is the time to um, hope, wish, and pray for greater stability, happiness, and joy in your own path. Now, for some cancers, you may be dealing with someone who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. The star card energy is a representation of Aquarius uh, in and with the major arcana. So Spirit's saying, no matter what happens around you, whatever falls apart around you, have the strength to maintain <clears throat> pardon me, a very grounded uh, energy in your path because spirit is trying to help you to give birth to an exciting new direction I feel like this is when it comes to your finances so you have the ability to give birth to a new direction and to know that with, as a major arcana spirit is going to listen uh, they're going to watch the actions you're taking regarding your finances and they are going to listen to your prayers and help you to manifest uh, a new path of success so you may be thinking about a new financial direction and your children you may be thinking about finances when it comes to this person tied to your past but eventually I think this cancer energy is going to get to the truth of a situation that the passion has gone full circle and it's time to lay down that path that they can now see that this offer from maybe a water sign or just a love offer or idea is really 
having to do with a person who is arrogant, negative. They're walking in the energies of their shadow side, making bad decisions. So this Cancer may be thinking that their ship is coming in when in reality, um, this is only a test. In the end, for some Cancers, there will be a separation from what felt like a soulmate connection. So it's about making the right decisions so that wonderful blessings can come your way since the karma card showed up. Yes. So somebody may be receiving a lot of attention or recognition, but there are obstacles regarding the home environment, a previous commitment, or a financial direction that this cancer is supposed to be focused on. They may be in connection with someone who is financially abundant and secure and wealthy even, but that person is carrying the energies of lies and deceit. And uh, your test, Cancer, is to recognize that. So instead of focusing so much on others, it is time, like I said, to ground yourself, Cancer, to think about your finances and career, to focus on uh, security and stability in your own personal path, to keep your heart open to those whom are already blessed in your path, that you have manifested in your path, whom love you. You are guarded and protected at this time. So go forward fearlessly, knowing that your home is protected by the angels, focusing on your life's purpose. Use your imagination, and you will start to see the answer of how to find contentment, security, and financial abundance in your own personal journey. And, and at some point, again, by mid, maybe mid to end of May 2019, this cancer is going to finally be admitting the truth to themselves, and I feel they will act accordingly. The other person is going to recognize that they received karma for their dishonesty and the way that they behaved. All right, so your word of prayer from the Archangel Michael Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue, representing the first half of May 2019, is... Thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me to relax and enjoy connecting with nature once again. So it's about just enjoying your life day to day, leaving an unhealthy situation behind. Again, if you'd like a personal reading, I'm available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. My price list will be in the box below and I am still offering the spring special which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. Thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care and God bless.